Hey there, it's Anonymous Tea, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. Any good vibes, any positivity, any blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we are talking Real Housewives of Atomic Love and Marriage uh, DC because earlier today, this afternoon, uh, Monique Samuels has filed for divorce from Chris Samuels after 10 years of marriage. Uh, this exclusive is coming from People. It says the Montgomery County Family Court has confirmed to People Tuesdays that the Real Housewives of Potomac alum 39 has officially filed for divorce from the former NFL player 45. Although Nick, um, Monique has filed a petition to seal the documents, the docket shows that she filed a complaint for absolute divorce on April 14th. She then filed an amended complaint for absolute divorce on June 15th. The former couple's divorce has yet to be finalized. However, Monique and Chris have scheduled a hearing for Wednesday. People confirmed in October 2022 that Monique and Chris had called it quits after 10 years of marriage. The former couple who wed in 2012 shared three children, sons Christopher and Chase, plus daughter Milani. They haven't appeared on each other's perspective Instagram grid since December 2022. Neither partly posted anything to commemorate their 11th wedding anniversary on March 3rd, as well as on Mother's Day or Father's Day. Additionally, Chris has unfollowed Monique and her company, Not For Lazy Moms, on Instagram. Uh, so so here's the thing. Uh, you know, there was a period of time when they first were on Real Housewives of Potomac where it seemed as though they had a nice family. It seemed as though they were a nice couple. Uh, but then in the moment, uh, once we started to see some of the dynamics, such as uh, Chris Samuel's mom not liking Monique at all, uh, and then we just started to see kind of, you know the increased amount of arguing and everything that takes place on these shows uh which is always not a good sign um in a lot of cases on these real housewife shows uh because again this reality tv curse tends to affect so many marriages um negatively right and ultimately uh you know remember ashley darby had said at BravoCon that things were not good right and remember i even did a video saying that they had broken up and uh, Monique and Chris quickly did a live, remember, saying that it was fake news, saying that it wasn't true. And here's the thing. I think they were just trying to get in front of it to control the narrative is honestly what I think. Um, or possibly they tried to briefly get back together and try to see if there was anything that they could salvage of this marriage. And it just wasn't it. However, Monique has been doing extensive, you know, traveling and all of these things without Chris Samuels. Like I found, I think it was the Africa trip or something that was weird recently i think it was last year or something uh where they did the family trip first and then monique went right back out <laughs> like by herself uh to the same location and i was like what in the heck is this what is happening and um and then chris samuels has been posting a lot more than he usually does on social media we can tell that he is slimmed down and has lost amount you know a significant amount of weight um so i will uh you know continue to monitor to see ultimately what is going to come up of this but it just seems like it got to um a situation to where i uh, you know monique was just done right because what would have the near see it would be an easy narrative if chris samuels had filed because then that is going to bring in all the people that are going to be like yes everybody was right about monique that she was a gold digger and that she was -da 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 -da. like it would have it would have been perfect right but the fact that Monique has filed, what is going to be the narrative, right? Uh, to me, it seemed as though she was checked out of her marriage for quite some time, right? And even all of the things that she wanted Chris Samuels to do, uh, it just still wasn't enough, right? And even uh, that ex-friend of Monique maybe have been was on to something, right? Remember the rumor that she was going to try to expose the affair with allegedly Monique and her trainer? But I do think, I don't know if that piece is true, but I do think Monique was done with her husband. I, I You could just tell there was like this resentment, right? And you could just tell that she felt trapped that she couldn't do anything other than be a wife and mother and you could tell with her being on these reality shows that she wanted to escape that she wanted to go in a different direction she wanted to be more than just chris, chris, chris samuel's wife and more uh than just a mother of three so i think that is a bigger factor more than anything is that 
she probably got to a point where she resented Chris and felt like he just saw her as an incubator to like continue to like keep having kids and, and all of these things but it just ultimately wasn't enough and I just think she fell out of love with him at some point and and just you know everything she wanted him to do she felt you know it just wasn't worth it in the end uh, so we will see uh, ultimately how this shakes out if this is going to be a messy divorce or not uh, but I'm sure the Green Eyed Bandits are celebrating and I'm sure Candace is celebrating um, that this is over uh, because they didn't like Monique anyways, right? <laughs> so they didn't like her uh, to begin with. But ultimately, the people who suffer the most in this are the kids. You don't want to see a household broken up, specifically a black household broken up to where um, now the kids are going to have to split their time between mommy and daddy uh, because they cannot get along. They cannot make it work. And... I think reality TV not only, you know, made things worse for them, but also enhanced their issues as well, right? Uh, so there is that. So let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.